The Ohio State University's Wexner Medical Center, now just one of a handful of medical facilities across the country that is using this new technology for surgery. It's called augmented reality, and both doctors and patients say they are already seeing the benefits. NBC4's Alan Henry live outside of Wexner now. Alan, what is augmented reality, and what are some of the benefits we're seeing? Well, Jennifer Brad, if you think about it, typically while surgeons are operating, they're constantly looking over at the side at x-rays or scans to make sure they're operating in the right area. But with augmented reality, those images can come to life. This is a dramatic change in the way we do surgery, and I'm excited. It was just last month that doctors at Wexner Medical Center started using augmented reality, or AR, to perform spinal surgeries. Wearing a specialized headset, even before making an incision, I can visually see the patient's spine. We can now plan our surgical strategies with an element of accuracy that we never had before. Dr. Safdar Khan has performed more than a dozen AR spinal surgeries in the last month. He says that accuracy allows for fewer, smaller incisions and quicker operating times than before. With a limited confidence in the accuracy, given the older techniques that we had, um, probably take us three, four hours. I would tell you that now we're putting in the same amount of hardware in less than an hour with absolute confidence and, and complete accuracy. From the moment that I woke up, I didn't have any back pain at all. Jennifer Muneer was one of the first patients to have an AR spine surgery. It was her fifth surgery on her spinal injury, but says it was by far the best. If every surgery could be as um, minimal pain that this surgery has been, I would never be afraid of another surgery. Now, because the technology is so new, there are a couple of downsides. The headsets are big, they're heavy, and they're custom made for each surgeon. Dr. Khan says if they're able to make those headsets lighter and perhaps even cheaper, they'll be able to bring augmented reality to even more people. Local for you, Alan Henry, NBC4.